Hey, yo, so I beat the fuck out of Jinjin Hole game yesterday. <laughs> I think that was funny. Uh oh. Uh, ba ba ba. There we go. Ayo. We're living yo. chat. I um, installed new um, proprietary Logitech software and it kind of fucked up my microphone a little bit. Ah, uh, damn. Ah. Uh. Get that out of the way first. Take a big sippy. Don't re remember to hydrate, chat. Anyway, we're starting the stream right now. Right now. They're just mad because I crit them like twice. No, it was funny. It was pretty funny. I didn't. Again, I feel a little bad about it, but not that bad because I didn't want you to win anyways. Yeah. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, gamers. Hello, gamers. 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 The fuck up. But are you gonna stop the meteor? I hope so! <laughs> um, I think we have bigger problems right now in terms of uh, the plot of Final Fantasy VII. I don't know. <laughs> Well, Look, all I'm saying, it is 2024, so I get to bust this one out again. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Ghosty. Year 2024. Ghosty, are we going to stop the meteor? Are we going to get our little Blurbo JRPG party together in real life and stop the meteor? I, yeah, I thought you were about to say, like, in Holium, like, your Holium is not about stopping the meteor. <laughs> you, you said... You implied that there's a third impact route. <laughs> I think. Oh, what the fuck are you cooking, Ghosty? Don't worry about it. What part of "don't worry about it" do you people never get when I say "don't worry about it"? Oh, I, the, uh... the concerning thing for me is that um, you have planned out a theoretical event very similar to Third, Impla Third Impact. Uh-huh. And that is the concerning part. <laughs> and well, yes, so I can, I can ask happen. you what the fuck you're cooking, and I know I won't get an answer, so it's more or less a... Uh, a theoretical question, a hypothetical question. Um, I'm on, I'm on like five fucking burners right now. I'm cooking something wild and fierce. You have to understand. Um, I didn't expect, I didn't expect a theoretical um player character would die. Um, moment to happen this early in the campaign, and I thought that was funny in itself. You didn't expect Ghosty. No, I. What other outcome was fucking... there aside from you get knocked out? <laughs> <sighs> you goofball. Well, first of all, maybe not Fingers... pissing off the fucking NPC by shooting at his younger brother. How was I supposed to know that, that would have been happen. a start? You're my brother in Christ. You're the one who shot the bullet! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it didn't hit. Ghosty is losing their fucking mind over here. Bros, bros will take a fucking shot at someone and be like, Oh, it didn't hit though, I don't get why they're beating the shit out of me for 
threatening their brother. No, I get it. I understand fully. I am aware of my. I am aware of the consequences of my actions. Did I anticipate a fight? Not quite. <clears throat> wow, Azra, drop in for that one thing. Bitch. Um. Also, turn on Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cameo, uh, cameo um, of from uh, Ricky, Ricky Tiki Taki. True. <laughs> when are we gonna see him again? I don't know. When I fucking feel like playing Space Station again. Um. But uh. Yeah. I didn't expect you to piss off, piss off the one guy who's known character trait is I like to fight people <laughs> and may even sometimes be looking for an excuse to do it <laughs> sorry Barrett at the same point is really funny <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, that was a tactical error on Esther's part just a bit It's okay. It's okay. I'll go back to being nice to him, um, next session. Only a little bit. <laughs> you have to balance your meanness and niceness to Aster, otherwise he becomes the Joker. And um, I don't think any of us want that. No, we don't. I want it known on the record that Eileen's not mad at him, she's just really disappointed right now. <laughs> I figured she wasn't, like, mad, but, like, it's like, ugh, really? Really? Dude. Dude. <laughs> Big hole! Fucked up and evil! And you're just gonna bounce out of it because you got pissed off by some fucking kobolds and the four other people I sent you in with? No! No, that's not- you don't get to do that! It's he like, has he has more thoughts on the matter, and I was like contemplating writing another journal entry today, and uh -huh. I still am of just like, man, what the fuck did she mean by that? <laughs> Which part? Of uh, like I need you specifically for this Aster. I can't do this without you. <laughs> this hole is getting bigger, and I can't close it without your help. Kind of, like, he's interpreting this of, like, I am not this big. This is... <laughs> he might be doing a little gaslighting. Anyway, um... Hey, everybody! Hi, Welcome everybody. to the Avalanche Public Execution Scene! No. Nope. Oh, just kidding. The web... No, it isn't. The weapon is coming. Yeah, it's going to be, uh... How does it it's feel be, now, um... Scarlet? It's going to be like a 16-man ride, right? <laughs> right? That, no. That's how this stuff works, uh -huh. right? That's how, that's how Final Fantasy works, right? Uh, did you say a 16-minute raid? Man. 16 man raid, okay. 16 man, 16 minute raid. Sure, true. So, yeah, uh, I kind of forgot right. we have to, like, just kind of fucking ball with the party they give you in this section. And uh, that and is... Catchy sucks. Ke catch yeah, catchy sucks. I have stopped optimizing Barrett since I haven't been using him. Does Barrett not have a gun anymore? Uh, you, he can get, uh, melee weapons. I did not know that. I did not know that was a like, thing. I thought that was like a funny little detail that they added because... No, uh, he, he could get was, melee weapons. Yeah. And if he had his gun arm, then he would just that would be getting him a weapon, but no, apparently not. Um, Jin, I need you to contemplate the very humorous dichotomy uh, behind Cadell saying, Aster needs to learn he's not that fucking guy. <laughs> and, yeah, I um, know. Insisting, no, it, you are. You are that guy. Please, don't walk on me here. You are that guy, but 
I had a guy, and you're him. <laughs> and it's up, it's up to ask to determine who's right in that situation. And I think we know who it, who he's going to believe is right. I mean, he's had his doubts about both of them. For like, he's had like doubts on both sides. <laughs> Let's go, dice! Yippee! Wahoo! Yeah! It did something! Wow! <laughs> I mean, you saw, you saw, he was a little bit more aware of the gaslighting going on and not really on board with it this time. This play is very wow. It's so big. Right, I forgot. Push the switch. Um Can we can we uh talk about how Shinra has a fucking gas chamber? Yeah, what the fuck are they judging? What? They might. I don't like these implications. I, I don't think there's really much to add. The implications are saying a lot already. I mean, I know they're the big bad evil guys, but like. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I kind of never thought of the Shinra as nothing more than like Saturday morning cartoons and then I remember oh yeah they just have a gas chamber yeah they did try to publicly execute you Saturday morning cartoons they say after multiple plates of an entire goddamn city dropping on the other parts of the entire goddamn city listen to be fair that is a pretty Saturday morning cartoon villain thing to Saturday do. morning cartoon villains are still evil like inherently but like there's a bit of a goofiness about them like just a smidge of incompetence when it comes to actually facing the main the main characters also didn't this cannon get fucking destroyed by like three dudes no, they did that in a simulation, remember? I know, but I still think that scene is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right! Crisis Core! Crisis, Crisis Core? what? I don't know what a Crisis Core is. And I'm certainly not having one. It's the core in which you have crises. Crises? Um, I'm, I'm having to uh, be a bit more... Uh, stingy about what I'm sharing whole game wise with Vile actually <laughs> uh, because um, he's thrown out the potential idea of if for whatever godforsaken uh, reason someone has to drop out for whatever reason he would very much like to fill a position left open uh oh and has pitched character concepts to me like yeah that fucking rots you you know a lot more about the setting um than most of the other people in the party, which would make sense for the type of character you want to play. I do not foresee myself dropping out permanently. You drop out and do like your own little spin-off campaign, and then you come back to the main party um, after like six levels a whole new character. Wait, like a new character as in like... No, like... Aster post character development. And, and you're just a whole different ass guy. <laughs> and everyone's like, where the fuck were you? Would you like to buy this DLC to find out what happened? God. I think if I if I had the courage to um, run two at the same time, I actually wouldn't entirely object to the thought of having like a split party within the same setting scenario. I mean Assuming you had the time and energy for it. Um, Which I don't. Yeah, you don't. But, like, from what I can tell, really the key thing to running two different games at once is just taking fucking notes and not just going by vibes. Unfortunately, well, that is not conducive to how I play. Sorry, how, how do I run things? Well, I thought, do not think you're in 20 months. That's the thought on my mind is that, um, 
there there is kind of an A plot and a B plot to whole game, and you haven't quite gotten to what the B plot is yet. Um, but it is a meaty enough of a B plot to constitute. I could run a, a smaller scale campaign about just this B plot if I really wanted to. Is the B plot like uh, what was it? Charlie in uh, and it's always Sunny just doing his own fucking thing? Um, no, and the B plot's horrors. uh, the B plot's about what happened over to the west. Oh. The, the town full of snow. Yeah, the town full of snow. And it's not snow. But it's not snow. And also, you um, you aren't presently able to get over there. Yeah. Ooh, maybe maybe they could even be a prequel. Mm, no. Or like in the final I love act, near. you have to. I love the, near. In the near. final act, you have to like sever the train ties and all that to make sure no one else suffers the same fate or whatever. I think making a uh, prequel type thing would give away too much about what I want to say yeah. about it. You have to have a quote before the prequel or the sequel. Yeah. You have to have a quote. That, that's, you, how, that's how the word works, right? Sure. No. You, the answers will be found one way or another and I don't want them to be entirely uh drawn out through flashback, although that is kind of what the tapes are for. <laughs> okay, we were playing after episode 7, they made 7 of these bitches. <laughs> they made 7 of those bitches. Oh, Pyro, have I got news for you. They, like, they made 13 movies. 2 of these bitches. 13 2? They made Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13 of these bitches. about um, Aster walking out on you because I didn't get to just drop the tape on your on your laps. I have it written. It's ready. It exists. Next week. Yeah. Next week. I have to bail from the fight. I took a bit of a dive down the CV Gunner fucking hole again, and I found this one, and it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I know you're in a hurry, but if I could please have a word. Shut up! I am in a hurry! Don't oh, make so much one. noise! Oh. It's me, Yuffie! This rip is cooking actually. <laughs> There's another one, Ghosty. There's another one of the same fucking caliber. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I need a mod that replaces uh, the fucking like weapon attack soundtrack with <laughs> this one. <laughs> like every time the weapons are on fucking screen, just. That. Comment on the second one, Sephiroth causes the third impact or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Comment suck actually! <laughs> Is mine there? I put one there. Um, 
probably, but I have to pay for it. <laughs> I like that. The plate goes tumbling down, tumbling down. <laughs> 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 oh, there's your comment. Can't take this anymore. I'm at my limit. <laughs> Your big shot limit. I think I'm gonna need a break from these jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're goofy. You're silly. I love how we're just like fucking toting a dead cat she around. Shit, Toby Fuzz ripped off Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> the big shot. Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Do you understand the reference? No, I don't. Please explain it to me. Do you, do you, do you understand the reference to uh, Deltrune Chapter 2? Oh, sorry. I they thought about the I Again, I thought about the fucking uh, Justice RIP rip over the Persona 3 ADC. And how this is like the hardest a rip will ever go. <laughs> What the, this is what the reference spammed in. Spammed in. What the fuck is a Deltarune? I've never heard of that. Deltarune. It, it's a uh, rune with the uh, Greek letter Delta on it, of course. What I wanted to know is... Why are you so caveman? What? What? That threw me off really hard, actually. I'm sorry. Amazing. How are you supposed to get on that airship? It's pre-rendered. In the, It's baked into the background. It's not taken off. No, it's done in layers, so it'll probably be gone. <laughs> Move your feet and arms, and then use your head to get out of the chair. It, escape the gas chamber mini game. <laughs> well, hard to tell. It takes a part. Which is the level game? Which is the mini game? <laughs> I hate this game. It's so good. Escape the gas chamber mini game. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the gas! That one. Won't open! The weapon. That, one, that one's Sapphire? I think so. It's the blue one. It's the blue one. Oh wow, he cut a big convenient hole in the side of Junon just for me. Oh, and it blew him up. Aww. Damn. That was very nice.
What'd you do? Hey, open it! I'm watching the same thing. We have to get back to fucking Shadowburns at some point, literally just so I can make you do the uh, weapon fights. Yeah. Um, because some of them are kind of goofy. We have so much Final Fantasy to play. Oh, that guy's dead. He died. Oh yeah, that guy's. That guy is hooked. We have so much fucking Final Fantasy to play, in terms of just like. Wait, like I need to get back to 14. Game. We need to get back to Stranger of Paradise. True. True. We have and to kill Chaos, the... Ghosty. There's also the Resident Evil games. We have to Where... finish six. Oh, oh, we do have to finish. We... That's 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 a me and you thing, Charles. Though. I'm about to yeah. say that's not a me thing. That... I'm I'm uninvolved in that. Oh yeah. You can be in the same call. Eh, maybe. It's not a first-person shooter, you can probably watch it. Okay. Six is also, like, not scary. Six is the I, one where I, Leon's I, running around, like, roundhouse kicking everybody. But not in Spain. But not in Spain. The president's daughter Leon. is not there. Leon <clears throat> Kennedy is in Spain without the A. Is in Spain? It's play Oh, but it's my other favorite mini game! Slappity slappity mini game! Slap fight mini. Slap fight mini game! Oh my. I just slappity like. Slappity slappity mini game! The, the fucking frame one slap interrupt. <laughs> Discord fight! Take her away! To where? Calm down or I'll drop you. <laughs> Run to the end of the cannon! Oh my god, it's Barrett! In a different yeah. art style, because he's pre-rendered! Why <laughs> The, the really awkward, low-poly Tifa shuffle. I love when they use the like low-poly field models in the pre-rendered cutscenes. <laughs> like, this is one of the most visually inconsistent games I've ever played. Um, it's so, and but it's, it's so also, great for that. It's so good for it, and it's also toted as one of the best-looking games like on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> It was revolutionary. Sometimes revolutionary doesn't tell it doesn't mean great. <laughs> I I am very lenient with this game. Uh I know I said man, sometimes it looks like Xenoblade 2 just has models that are from completely different games and completely different art styles. And then I go and play Final Fantasy VII, where they pull shit like that. And I know I'm not helping by having uh, model replacements <laughs> that just no, kind of look better. <laughs> Don't know where they kept this tower. Wahoo! What's up? Uh. I was watching uh, Poppin's uh, stream for um, running this one. Chew the fat. And uh, Poppin is going through it right now when it comes to Warframe. Uh, oh, wait, what's Poppin's pronouns? Shit. Shit. What are the pronouns? You're such a. What are your pronouns? Is, um. Good dog! <laughs> But yeah, he's uh, going through it right now. He's uh, doing some Warframe quests for the best in the game in my opinion. And it is some nasty shit. Wait, the content itself is nasty? No, I mean, like, it's, uh, story elements are like... There's some really intense themes of child abuse. 
That that would qual that would qualify as the content is nasty. Yeah, the gameplay is fine, but oh, oh, oh. oh it's got nasty. And also like veteran abuse and stuff too, and shit like that. It's it's a deep cut. Now I should know. Yeah. Yeah, it's that. It's the Umbra Quest. And this is like right after uh, Poppin finished the... Um... Uh, the Chains of Harrow, which was also a child abuse story. And I am very glad it's not glorifying any of it at all and just telling you up front, hey, this is fucked up. But it happened. And now you have to process it. I didn't process anything, you just said I'm gonna be keeping I'm keeping real with you. Was I talking too fast? No, Warframe suffers from a uh, fantasy game syndrome of there are names and things and events that are dropped and to anybody who doesn't know what they are, they don't mean anything. I was being like as vague as possible about it. Gunky is so well behaved. Most dogs are such excitement to go on a vehicle. <laughs> um, I will I mean, I am glad that they're having a time or not, you know, it I Yeah, they're enjoying it. They're enjoying um, it. Oh god, terrorists. The, new, the nuance of the si of the scenario might be going over the head because neither of us play Warframe. Yeah, fair. But yeah, um, yeah so I'm even with the invade right terms, now. there's like the the impact of it doesn't really mean much. Yeah. But the the things that are going through and that uh Poppin's going through in the story is uh Oof. Body's too short. Uh, art's hard. I feel that. I'm sick of it. Can't art just be, like, easy again? It gets easier the uh, moment you stop criticizing yourself over it. No, you no, it doesn't. Do that. Nope. <clears throat> you gotta do it, because then you don't get better. Oh, I didn't say it gets better. I said it gets easier. No. It, well, it also gets easier, easier but it, gets also, it also worse gets worse. About it. Yeah, it also gets worse, but I didn't say better or anything like that. I'm not saying improvement, I'm saying easier. Charles, I think your advice is kind of moot. Yeah, yeah it is. I'm sorry, this is bad advice. Yes it is. Don't, don't tell it. Don't tell it. <laughs> this is not advice, this is counterintuitive. Yeah. Yeah, it is. This isn't thank you advice, this is shut up advice. I love you too, Jench. I gotta show this moron how to land this ship. Don't worry, it'll be done in a minute. <clears throat> Not to say, don't you have something to do at this point? Don't you have to go somewhere? Find out what happened to your white boy? Where's White Boy? Save me, White Boy. White Boy. Save him. Save White Boy. Save white him. Boy, save me. Get she is dead. We're keeping him that way. Not to say, are you gonna use him again ever? No. That. <clears throat> well, okay. There's one section where we have to use him. After this, <clears throat> can we go to we can go to Chocobo. Let's go to Chocobo. Chocobo. We need a Chocobo line. to go to Chocobo. I went to Chocobo, I wanted the Chocobo, and there's no Chocobo there. What the fuck? It's 
game sucks. This area sucks. They just crashed this airship. <laughs> Sid, ram us straight into Shepard, the Shepard building. Absolutely destroy it. Oh, great. You cannot hit. You cannot hit. The you cannot button. hit the gritty. <laughs> yeah, we have. So, um. <clears throat> You've got the boat. Ghost the boat ship. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> how do you feel about recent uh, potential Fortnite leaks? What are the recent potential Fortnite leaks? I haven't seen them. Um, it is been leaked by a reputable reputable leaker that we may be getting a Avatar James Cameron edition collaboration, and also a Devil May Cry collab. <laughs> First one, I don't give a fuck about. Second one, we do need that. <laughs> Dante needs to hit the fucking gritty. Um. We do have Snake coming in soon, too. Snake in, like, two weeks. Two weeks? Um, I I have a story about James Cameron's Avatar. Oh, and it's a really so. boring one. Um, I've only seen James Cameron once. And when I say once, I mean I saw the first half of it because uh, my dad rented it to watch it with me. And despite it being, like, the middle of the day, I fell asleep halfway through the movie. <laughs> oh, like how I fell asleep halfway through freaking episode three of Star Wars. That's like the best was it, one time. Was that boring? Was that a boring movie for you? Or were you just really EP? I was very sleepy and I was up past my bedtime and I was oh, a small okay. child. Okay, that makes that, sense. That's a that's I an was a child. issue. That's an eeper issue. Mine was just a this movie is so fucking boring I would rather sleep than watch it issue. Um, <clears throat> I, the only movie that I can, I don't think I've, the only movie I can really recall falling asleep during would be, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, fun build up, um, so if you're really busy with something, why don't you finish that first? Um, the only movie I can recall myself falling asleep to, genuinely, would be, um, the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Like, the one from the, the 1900s? Yeah, the Gene, Wil the Gene Wilder one. I'd always fall asleep Don't at come the with same the 1900s. Part. Yes, I- why not? No! Why not? Why not, Charles? That's when it was from. That was, it when was that from was the made. 1900s. There's nothing incorrect about that statement it's I just not. made. It's not. It wasn't made during the 2000s. I know. Which means... I am crumbling to dust over here. Anyway, I... Charles, you're not even, like, a year older than me. 98. It still yeah. counts. It still counts. No, it doesn't. You didn't even have conscious memory until the 21st century. You are a year if you older than me, Charles. If you didn't have conscious memory before the year 2000, it doesn't fucking count. Anyway. <clears throat> yes, the original one from the 1900s. Um, I would always fall asleep at the same part. It, always, it would always be like playing on Christmas or Easter or something. And it would, it, like... I would we would go to over my grandma's and they would be watching it on TV because my step grandpa like just was always watching TV. Um, you want to know the year, Charles? Sorry, you finish. And uh, <clears throat> God, excuse me. Fucking, it would it was always during the boat scene. During the boat scene, I would always fall asleep. That's a very odd scene to fall asleep to, but more power to you, man. That's one of the weirdest scenes in the movie. Uh, the only other time I can recall a movie being, like, literally the most boring thing I've ever seen was, uh, World War Z. Okay, but that movie just also kind of sucks, so, you know. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. Um, fucking, like, 
I think we got to, like, about the part where they, like, went to Israel or whatever, and, like, all the zombies ran over the wall because everybody was singing really loudly or something stupid. And I started playing fucking Animal Crossing during it on my 3DS. <laughs> well, no. Um, it was 1971, Charles. That was when the Gene Wilder one came out. Oh. You, you don't... that That's not a... You don't get to be like, Oh, God, that was so long ago. You weren't alive when that movie came out. None yeah. of us were. Yeah, My fair. mom okay. wasn't alive when that movie came out. Oh, in more recent memory, I, I also fell asleep during Evil Dead 2. Surprisingly. Hmm. But I was also really EP. That's it. I laid down and that was go I was gone. <clears throat> that was a uh, post MFF. My sleep schedule is fucked. Um. So, you know what's really funny to me about World War Z Pyro and also Ginge? Yeah. They are not even remotely true to the source material. Oh, the movie, I know. The game, I don't think anybody fucking cares. Um, if you've not read, uh, World, World War Z, um, it is an, uh, it is an anthology book, uh, filled with a bunch of short stories about the zombie apocalypse. And not whatever not, the fuck Brad Pitt was doing. <laughs> not the, uh, we wanna be, we are capitalizing on every single zombie trope of this current era. They that's just all it was wanted doing. to make The Walking Dead again. It just it just felt like a really bad adaptation of Left 4 Dead. <laughs> but everybody in it was fucking stupid and made bad decisions. That's all it was. Oh my god. The, the fucking video game being truer to the source material than the book is so... Well, not the book, the movie is so funny, actually. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the 2010s were a very interesting era for <clears throat> horror as a genre, because everyone wanted to be The Walking Dead. Um, and even, and after a certain point, even The Walking Dead didn't want to be The Walking Dead anymore. <laughs> they, they were not kidding. The Walking Dead does just become the walking melodrama at, like, five seasons in. That's what I've been saying! Of, like, I never got into The Walking Dead, because everything I've seen about it is, um... People arguing, and sometimes zombies appear. <laughs> I will maintain that, like, the first, like, five to six-ish seasons of the show are pretty good. But, oh, uh, there's some slog to get through to get to some of the, like, actually good shit. Um, some of the changes they make from the comic book are really weird, and kind of break the flow of where, like, what the series could have been about. Um, notably, I'm not at it yet, but I'm aware that they, uh, that they do it. Um, they kill off, like, Carl in the eighth season. Yeah, Walking Dead spoilers for the stream, by the way. Sorry, oh no! Spoilers for a several year old show. Yeah. Um, they kill off Carl in, like, the eighth season of the show. Um, and Carl is not a character that dies in the comic. Um, Carl becomes, like, the POV character. Um, during the second half and also the ending of the comic book. Um, he's kind of important, actually. I don't know why they killed him. Um, I do know why they killed him. It's because AMC fucking sucks. And they wanted... And they didn't want to keep the actor because he also wanted to go to college while filming. <laughs> Chocobos ignore humans who don't look like they'll give them greens. Hang on, can I? Carl. 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 Yeah, we're Carling. We're Carl. talking about Carl Grimes. Carl. Carl. No. Carl. Carl it kills people. Carl does kill people. Um. Yeah, I don't know. They kill off a lot of characters in the show that they don't kill off until way later or at all in the comic and it's like why are you why are you doing this what well, what drama is there to be had here 
He tried to buy a house uh, close to set so that he could be readily available for filming, and that's part of the reason he, he act, like they got really pissed when they fired him. Uh, because it's like, I literally bought a house to be close to this production because that's how much it means to me. Um, he, he was committed to it. Because, again, to, to his understanding, he was playing, like, the one character in the show with fucking plot armor. Carl doesn't die in the comics. Um, the, Sorry, like, the last that. issue of... Of the comic is like a 20 year time skip where Carl is just the main character uh, now, and you're in the aftermath of what happened during the series. And it's like, well, you know, society isn't normal, but we have some amount of normalcy back in life. I have a daughter. Uh, Michonne is still alive because she's like the only interesting character left. Um, no, I can't say that. I like Eugene too. Eugene's an also interesting character. Uh, yes, man. There, there are like a couple characters. It's Clementine having plot armor is so like. It's funny because the plot armor becomes an active detriment to her during, like, two separate seasons of the, um, like, the Telltale games. Like, she's unkillable, and that causes her way more suffering than if she had just, I don't know, if literally anything else had happened. Fucking Lee raised her too well. <laughs> Um, I could I could go on for hours about Telltale's The Walking Dead and my very mixed opinions on it, um, but <clears throat> but my but my long and short is I really like Clementine. I really wish that the second season of The Walking Dead, the video game, was not um, the fucking Clementine torture porn hour. Because they do a lot of shit to her in that season that is uncalled for. Um, and I won't go deeper into it because I will literally take up the rest of the stream time arguing about this. Yeah, you can't do that. We found White Boy. Yeah, we found White Boy. I do like the practical effects that they did for the zombies, though. That was cool. I mean, I'm not going to dislike the production of the show because yeah. it, it is a very well-made show. Yeah. It and, looks like, AMC but... is really fucking good at, like, keeping shows like that afloat. <laughs> In fact, I have a fun fact for y'all. Uh-huh. Hit me with it. So, the, um... Uh, even for some studios, uh, California, there is, or at the very least was, this sort of walk-through, sort of haunted house thing that was kind of going year-round. Uh, based on AMC's Walking Dead, uh -huh. and uh. they used almost they used the same molds and everything for the scare actors in that walkthrough as the ones that were used on the show, uh. and some of the same and some of the same molds for props and such too. So they used literally the exact same techniques. They just had different actors because obviously it's a uh -huh. theme park, but. They you they were as close as possible to the real the real set pieces and all that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a concerted effort. I'm gonna pull my um I've I've lived and uh been incredibly close to people who work in that industry uh card for a moment. As have I. Like um, my dad. Uh huh. And I'm gonna say I do like the effects on The Walking Dead as far as like how they made the zombie stuff work. Um. And this is not to disparage it, because they are very good. However, I'm going to note um, that they are, and I'm going to use this as a compound statement here, they are also pretty damn cheap for how effective they are. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Yeah, like... It's another one of those wonders of practical effects. You can get away with so much uh, can, using so little. You can get away with a bunch. There are a bunch of uh, parts in the earlier seasons where they hadn't quite mastered the art of, uh, well, we can just CGI a bunch of zombies into the background and that's good enough. Uh, where they didn't CGI in like zombies, but they would CGI clone zombies um, in like hordes, uh, so that because you're not going to look at every single individual zombie and be like, oh my god, those two are the same one. That's just the same zombie. Walking, like, ten feet apart from each other. Yeah. But they didn't have to get a shitload of extras anyway. Yeah. Because um, it's still a shitload of zombies. Exactly. In the later seasons, they do start just being like, oh, yeah, just, just pull up, bust out the CGI zombies, who cares? Yeah, because zombies become such an afterthought in the later seasons. Yeah, because the later seasons are all about, um... Rick, killing people's bad! And Rick is like, Are you fucking oh! kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Bam, 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 bam! <laughs> Just footage of I John Wick playing. <laughs> <laughs> my Andrew Lincoln British guy doing like a fucking Western accent voice. Are you, are you fucking kidding me, man? We gotta kill these guys. <laughs> they I think suck. we gotta kill these guys. <laughs> fucking who's, I, who's he hang out with? Um, I think we gotta kill these guys, Daryl. Dang, uh, I can't do my. I can't. Uh, he does kind of grunt a lot. <laughs> he he kind of does the Norman <laughs> Reedus making weird noises thing. <laughs> oh, good. I hope he do the Norman Reedus making weird noises thing, considering that it's Norman Reedus. <laughs> That's like half of his character, really. Yeah, the other half is being greasy. Well, no, a, a quarter of it is being greasy. No, it's it. The other half is like dialogue. The the then there's you know the normal is making weird noises half, and then it's all covered in grease to hold it together. Yeah, the grease yeah. is the glue, <laughs> and also the lubricant. To make I don't want to, you to uh, ever say that again, for <laughs> like my mental image sake. But, you see, it's a well-oiled machine. It is a well-oiled machine. <laughs> he Only is it's a well-oiled well machine. It's grease. Oh, yes. Shit. I'm looking That's at, why I meant like, my lubricant, nothing else. Yeah. I meant the most practical application of it. If you're thinking anything else, you're wrong, objectively. You are putting words in my mouth. I, I, I would never. Both Kya and Kya are up to something. I hope they keep that line in the remake. Oh my god, it's Mr. Shinra. We're faced with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. Two, remove the barrier around North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. I'm glad that years. he at least has the priorities to be like, yeah, I don't care about Avalanche or anything anymore. We should probably deal with the meteor that's going to kill everyone. <laughs> that might be good for PR. Huge materia is a high is a high density special type of materia made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. <clears throat> we have to get huge materia, guys. We gotta get we have big to get materia. Huge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know what you are. Oh, bro! You look huge! Materia. <laughs> Me pulling out huge materia. <laughs> huge materia would just look like the freaking THC orb or whatever. The THC orb? <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Am I world famous online yet? For all the art I posted. Yeah. God, I hope so. Ghosty, you get free art like every fucking week. Like, yeah, no, you're famous. No, I don't. Okay, what every are you other on week? about? Also untrue. What are you on about? <laughs> Bro, people will just sketch your fucking blurbos like it's nothing. Don't, don't give me that. What are you on about? What are you on about? 
busy trying to make it fucking guy right now. I don't need this attitude. You know I'm right, that's why. No, I just... It's not a you're right, it's a... There's too much circumstantial evidence within uh, the previous few days for me to, like, say otherwise without <laughs> looking the fool. <laughs> <laughs> looks at colors, also, looks at colors, one... looks at colors. Okay. Well, colors hasn't drawn me in a hot minute, so, you know. But they've drawn your Blorbos. They have drawn my Blorbos. <laughs> when Cloud gets back, I want to show him what this huge materia. He's gonna be I want to show him my huge material. Materia. <laughs> Barry, I don't know if he can just say that. We can say whatever the hell we want. It's 1997. Or, damn. Just for the bit. See, this is <laughs> this is backfiring. I can't. I can't take this kind of pressure right now. I I was thinking about like the the lone Alexi that uh, Geek did like fucking yesterday. But also Geek was in a tabletop party with me. Um I think he gets a pass. Okay, but consider everybody draw my blorbos. True, draw Ginger's blorbos. I have many of Blurbo. I need to get more art of like my most recent character. I need to do more art of her. I need to get more art of her. I say looking at somebody else entirely. I, I like, also have a pair of Blurbo drawing. Point point I like figures. I like cool schoolgirl. I have Skull Space Girl, not not Skull Girl at registered trademark. Maybe the crisis is that I just like won't shut up about my Blorbos, which is making it, you know, people just draw them on principle because, oh. of, the, because of exposure therapy. You draw them with their penis out, and people were like, ooh, ooh. Oh, you know, it would be a really good like action scene to draw, though. Uh huh. Uh, when Cadell just fucking one-shot Rizap, despite his shield. Just... The I think that was also funny. shield shatter and fucking up and everything. <laughs> I keep looking at... I keep thinking about that as well, like, oh my god. There was no way I was getting out of that. Even with you, the shield. You lifted your shield just for it to get smashed into oblivion. I wanna draw... The shield just bigger plot moment whenever we get to that. Hehe. <laughs> 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 Where to figure his design out, changes. Um, <laughs> I need to figure out exactly which part of like the three junctioning parts of my mind that's okay to do that. How soon are they at? Um, they are all within the first act of the campaign. It's just a matter of how close to the end of it um, it happens. Although I think it'd be pretty cool to do it to cap off the first act. Yeah. Along with the other thing that is going to cap off the end of the first act. That I that you can't know about. Not yet. See, I enjoy talking about the plot development, because all three of us here know about it. Also vile, because uh I didn't actually anticipate following through with it. But now that I think about it, and I look at the mechanics, I think it would be incredibly fun to follow through with it. And also, would serve his character. I for think, the better. I think it's a cool idea. I, I'm so... I think it's so funny that I get to talk about my silly little tabletop in super vague terms, not for the chat, because, um... At least one person in the chat knows way more about this campaign than either of you two do. It's Pyro. It's Pyro. I've, I've talked to Pyro a fair bit about the tabletop. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee. I need to. I should probably do some more maps again soon. I have to get to. So I have like three current objectives 
for whole, currently. Um, I'm done with the second floor. I need to do the third floor. Um, and I need to do the uh, combat scenes for all of, for both of them. Um, and I don't know exactly which I'm going to pull out of the handbag uh, yet, but I would like to do one for a side quest of some form or another in the near future. Nobody, Nobody's going to comment on my high wind drifting skills. Really sad. No, they're really cool, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy thinking about my hand my little grab bag of side quests that I can pull out at any point to say, yeah, this is a side quest I can make you do now. Oh, I have... see an Astro become besties when? Um, I'm thinking you need to get at least past the second floor before we get to the... Oh, uh, so, uh, he's, a, so he's an act two, he's an act two quest. No, oh, no, I didn't say an act two, I didn't say that was act two. The, the hole's a bit, a fair bit deeper than three floors. Okay. Four floors, okay. This is the item shop. There it is! It's barium material! Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, barium material. Bear Pyro, material. my answer is going to be incredibly vague, but it's gonna be... Um, if I use that idea at all, it's gonna be somewhere uh, between the second and third act. Um, I don't, like, there's not really a reason for me not to use it other than just finding a, finding a more appropriate way to incorporate it, because the idea proposed, um, I need to iron it out in my head, you know? I need to figure out which particular, um, way I want to go about it, because there's a, there is a particular thing about certain aspects of it that, like, hmm, I need to ruminate. Wow, look at all these items you have, loser. Why haven't you used any of your sources yet? Um, A, Cloud Sound the Party, B, I have. I've used a few. Oh. I saw the Lut Source and I just assumed you hadn't used any other ones. Wait, there's one more, one more limit break I need to get before I can get, use Cosmo Memory, right? Um, pretty sure. Okay. Because you need to get, uh... Red's second, uh, third limit break. You or, mean yeah, third level the break. fourth, first one? Like, level four, one? I thought you just need level three, two. Uh, we can check after I buy barrier, because I... Because you need barrier? I need barrier! <laughs> Exit! <laughs> I honestly don't remember off the top of my head, you know, but I would imagine. Let's, let's, uh, find out, shall we? It lets you exit the game. You could exit the game right now. Yeah. I would do something really funny, but I haven't saved in a hot minute, so... I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> stupid dog. <laughs> you stupid dog. Um, it is also limit level two, so. Stupid um, dog! Wait, hang on, wait. Oh, I am on limit level two, fuck. So I need to get need kills. To, you need to get kills. Um, I need to equip Sid. Um, looks like the javelin is kind of the better option here. That's funny. Oh right, Tifa gave up all her materials, so she we have all the th all the things. Thank you. 
Found a really fucked up funny tweet. <laughs> Hold up. Other than Bishi Chewbacca, we don't have to talk about that one. Watch because your head will explode. Smile. Is it Final Fantasy 14? No, it's. I'm still talking about Left 4 Dead. Oh. Oh, your head will explode. Yeah, not yours. Anyway, here's the first person shooter bit of Final Fantasy 7. I think you should go to hell. Are you gonna do Fort Condor? Uh, for big materia? We're gonna have to at some point. Maybe you might want to just get it out of the way now. Yeah, I gotta pad out the stream time anyway. Let's do let's do fucking BattleBots mini game! <sighs> fucking hate BattleBots, dude. I fucking hate BattleBots sucks! BattleBots suck. I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad he can't react with GIFs in Twitch chat. But also, I totally, I, I totally understand why. And it's because people suck. People do suck. Yeah. God defend it from the Shinra. Or else, you know, they'll, they'll take the Phoenix Materia or whatever. It is Phoenix, right? I'm not being silly. Uh, we can't do we can't do it yet. Aww, why not? It just won't let me. You gotta talk to that guy. Damn. Uh, we gotta go to, go to Coral first. Damn. I'm also like out of money. I spent it all on cover materia. Oh, and you're new weapons. right. You're broke. Spent it all on gambling. Sid would do that. Which of the Final Fantasy VII party would invest in NFTs? None of them would. That's the, they're vehemently anti NFT. <laughs> Top five party members who would invest in NFT. Final Fantasy 7 party members who invest in NFTs. None of them! Final Fantasy 7 is a game all about preserving the planet, and NFTs are inherently bad for it! Number two, Sid. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think. Okay. 
I don't think Yuffie would invest in NFTs, but I think she would have one. She would steal them. <laughs> yeah, like she would think that's doing a service and she's, steal them. She's like, <laughs> I stole your monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hide your not my monkeys. No, my monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus, somebody stole my monkey! It's not my problem. Did you put it on the blockchain? I did! It's mine! <laughs> it was never actually yeah, yours yeah. to begin with. It was you never yours to begin to with. Did they right click save image? They did! <laughs> I'm afraid I can't help They you use the Gyazo <laughs> materia! <laughs> the Gyazo materia! Right. Oh god, materia, see, yeah. see, why don't I have more viewers? <laughs> Let's be real here. We're funny as I'm fuck. I'm funny as fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is Corel? Is this Corel? Um, is it the one by the Golden Saucer? Yeah. Could be. Why is it Pretty this far Corel. away? Like, okay. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, so you have to go all the way back to the, uh... Hang the fuck on, to okay. the reactor. Like, alright, we're, we're by the mountains, right? Uh-huh. That's the tram with the gold saucer. Uh -huh. I just I just want to point this out real quick. That's the tram with the gold saucer, right? Why? Why is the? Why the fuck is it all the way? Funny. Excuse me. Don't worry about it. It's a very long tram. <laughs> that's why they took so long. That's why they had to put to split a uh, remake into three parts because half of fucking rebirth is gonna be just them on the fucking tram to the gold saucer. Um, works! Yeah! So, do you think you're high enough level to do this without fucking it up? Oh uh, No. I mean, red might be. We just goggy sheep our way through, it's okay. Red 13 does everything. Thank you, doggy. So, um, I bought one of those fancy RGB keyboards with, um, like, all those fancy bells and whistles to make all the lights do funny things, right? Um, I think it's picking up your guys' voice on Discord, so, like, every time you start talking, it starts flashing. Mm -hmm. Why'd you say that like it was a bad thing, Charles? Mm. Fuck, it's doing the thing that it's supposed to do. I'm so sorry, mm. Josh. Yeah, I'm sorry, that that's really unfortunate. No, I just think it's funny. Like, doesn't it was, do that. I, I, set it, I thought I set it up to pick up only the game, and I thought that was what's going to happen, but no, it's picking up every sound my desktop makes. Which includes you guys. <laughs> Fucking mushroom man throwing watermelon seeds at these fuckers. Why would it throw watermelon seeds? I don't fucking know, it's Final Fantasy. Beep! My all leveled up! Yahoo! This wouldn't be a problem. If I was using Sid normally, like I did the last time, but no, Ghosty was like, hey, you should use Yuffie, she's cracked, and I said, okay. Then why aren't you using Yuffie? I said, I, oh, you are using I am using Yuffie. Oh, right, you need someone else in your party because you don't have Cloud. Yeah. White boy, save me, white boy. White, white, boy. white boy, save us. I don't know, Sid's kind of cracked. Is 
did a really loud sneeze chat. Less... But you didn't hear it. Less... Thank you. But you didn't hear it because I didn't want to sneeze on Mike like a bad person. Achoo! Sorry. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> what can yeah, I say? Yeah, you are a bad person. You're evil. I'm a bad person who plays bad people in tabletop games. As opposed to me, a good person who also plays bad people in tabletop games. You guys are. Getting into a fight is what we are. That's the. Okay, so, uh, Ghosty, can you remind me of how I do the Corel train thing without fucking it up? No, I don't remember. Okay, it's really easy. Okay. I just have to be fast. You just gotta be fast. This is so cool. I wish questionable father figures or cool uncles were real. Damn. We're taking the hooch with you with the train! Dude. I'm Sid. That's who the hell I am. Now let us let me handle it. Gets my own dinky little ass train. Your help having sit here. I have no idea he could drive a train. Guy. Smog alert! Uh oh! Oh, there we go. Doggy time.
I have a feeling Nellos is not having a good day at work right now. Oh no. It's going to hop on the elevator. Oh, nice. In a hospital. Yeah, In the hospital. that was a sarcastic nice. Uh oh, that's a big guy. Big, huge man. Great explanation marks. Huge, a huge manteria. Huge manteria. Me with the aqua lug. <laughs> Do not kill him, do not kill him, please. Oh, good, good. Ow. 
Let's go. Ayo. Guys, hand over the huge material. Kill him. It's okay! City. Received key item! Huge materia! Huge materia! Yeah, we did it, everybody! Huge! Aren't you the ones who stopped that Shinra train? The Shinra is just about to destroy our lives again. To you, it may be a junkyard, but to us, it's home. To hell with Meteor. We're coal miners, aren't we? We'll dig a deep tunnel and hide from the Meteor. That's it. Hey kid, how about giving something to these guys for fighting the Shinra? I got it out of the well. Isn't it an amazing rock? She's put my. <laughs> She's put my allowance. <laughs> it is all I've gotten this month. <laughs> what the fuck does Ultima Materia do? <laughs> it's magic. M Wizard, new spell. Ten thousand bricks until you die. What the fuck am I doing with Chocomo? No, I need fucking. What are you, Neo Bahamut? No. <laughs> what? Bro's getting. Bro's getting jacked by fucking Neo Bahamut? You gonna do your. You gonna do your guy Choco mod like that? Yeah. That's really sad. What's our fucked up? Desperate times call for desperate measures. We did it, everybody! We got a huge materia! Yippee! We got big materia! Yippee! Wahoo! Fox is going nuts. I'll be right back. So, okay. um, I played a little bit more of Slayer's X today. <laughs> How'd that go for you? <laughs> that game's wacky! <laughs> Nice. Good. Um, they turn his, like, implied wannabe girlfriend into a werewolf and you have to kill her, and, like, the only thing he says about it is RIP. We probably would have gone out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I love you, Zane. <laughs> You're so cool.
And that's about as far as I got. Okay, um, right, we have to go play BattleBots. Yeah, go play BattleBots. I don't really just want to play BattleBots. I mean, you don't have to play BattleBots, but you just, No, but you do. Is... You have to. Oh shit, you actually do, don't you? Yeah, you have to, like, even if you fail. Like, the fail state is fucking nothing. Then you get into, like, a winnable, less boring battle. Wait, Damn. is that... Is that what I think it is? What? Is that the... Is that the... Is that the magic forest? Can I land here? Well, I'd imagine you would need to be able to one way or another. Oh, wait. What do you get at the magic forest? I don't know, it's just like an area that I've never been in this game, but I've seen it. Do you maybe need a flying chocobo to get there? Maybe! That might be... yeah. Wait, you can get a flying chocobo? <laughs> I've never invested in the, like, chocobo breeding side of this fucking video game. I'm a basic bitch RPG boy. Uh, I know, like, you have to, to get knights of the round, you have to, like, fucking get a gold chocobo or something. Uh, yeah, you need to do the chocobo breeding side quest to get to a bunch of places. <laughs> That's just straight up something I'm not going to do this playthrough. If I do do it, it's gonna be off fucking camera. Um, apparently, you can get a gold chocobo uh, without doing the side quest, but you need to kill Ruby Weapon. <laughs> ah, okay. Easy. Let me do it. I think yeah. I love how, you know, the open world music, like, once the meteor summon, it goes from, like, Whoa, we're on an adventure, guys! Wow, isn't the world so beautiful? We have to save this! To, you are going to die in three days. There's no of getting I around would... it. What, Pyro? What are you saying? What? Would you like to say that for the rest of the chat? Whatever you're implying? Huh? Yeah. No, go ahead, finish it. I dare you. What? I double reference, dog dare you. In reference to what? <laughs> I'm assuming the t the chocobo breeding part. Huh? I think huh? you should direct that more at me, but I'm not gonna say anything more on that. I just incriminated myself. You sure did, buddy. In Final Fantasy. In Final Fantasy. We should do the chocobo breeding uh, side quest in Final Fantasy 14, so you can get the chocobo mask. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. I need to do that. Nothing else. No nothing else implied here. No, I'm making it funny. Worse and funny can be synonymous. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to drawing my funny little guy now. Ghosty, when are we gonna play Fortnite again? Don't do you have the hot tiger skin yet? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna get you Peter Griffin in like the course of a week. Fucked up. We're re we're really out for my blood tonight. Okay, chat. This isn't even my stream. <laughs> Every everyone is so mean to me. And yet here I am. Be a battlefield against the Shinra. Here's you have a problem with the Shinra too. After all, you climbed up here. I just thought it was a cool tower. It's a reactor and a condor. Battlebots, guys, I don't want to play fucking Battlebots. 
I fucking hate battle bots. You gotta play battle bots, sorry. Is my image of the thing? The thing? The thing? What's the thing? Um, the plot MacGuffin. There we go. Do I? Do, hang on. Do I have your fucking? Your your Final Fantasy VII pose saved. Let me see if I do. My Final Fantasy VII pose. Yeah, your Final Fantasy VII pose. Is it the is it the meteor one? No. -uh. <laughs> no. -uh. <laughs> is it that one? It's that one. Okay, thank God, because I think that one's mad funny. I need to see if I have it saved. If I don't, I need you to send it to me. I. I don't know if I have it saved either is the problem. You put it in my DM somewhere. Okay. Um, if Hot Mom Quad by Fuck Patrol Miami. I'm really glad I still have that one. Hang on, let me post that in chat just for... Just, just to, so y'all know what I'm fucking talking about. I love this fucking... <laughs> Um, Charles, you could, but I'm going to inform you that I will not be around after stream ends because I am going to watch a movie with my boyfriend. What movie? Oh, okay. We're gonna watch the Super Mario Bros. movie. Mario! Mario's movie! Yeah. Wow! Because we never actually Mario. ended up watching it. Okay, well, um, you have to promise you one thing, Ghosty. Yeah. You guys can't watch the Barbie movie together. Okay. You have to watch it with me. I I, I don't mind making that uh, promise. Okay, cool. But only if I'm allowed to watch Oppenheimer by myself. Oh yeah, I don't fucking care. Watch Oppenheimer, I don't give a fuck about that guy. I know what he did, he made a nuclear bomb and like had Pikmin do it or something, I don't fucking know. Pinkman? Pinkman, like you know, Pinkman. No, not Pinkman. Like you know, pull them out of the ground. Like, like hop, 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 hop. You know those guys. Just carrying the, just carrying the bomb. Yeah, Oppenheimer's all Pikmin of, that carried the all bomb Heimer. into into Hiroshima. You know that's how it all went. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. I don't think I have it saved. Oh, yeah. No. Sorry, I, I got distracted. I need to find another post now. Yeah, I'm contemplating gummy. Okay. Should I do it? <laughs> Louie would be the one to actually drop a nuke, drop a nuke and pick Medley. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, he would. He would. Fuck you, Louie. Uh, Fuck you, you Louie. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it, I guess. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. So if we hire 20 soldiers, that's 800, 8,000 kill. Wait, maybe I should ask my stepmother if I'm going to be needed tomorrow first. Needed before you're weeded. Because if I take it now, it'll definitely wear off before the game. But okay, we're ready. Let's oh play some fucking battle bots, everybody.
<laughs> I'll be returning again shortly, chat. I'm sorry. Okay. Start make? Yeah, you know what? I think it is. Mistake. So, so chat, we got the fan fest tomorrow. Do, do we think it's gonna happen? Do we think we're gonna see women tomorrow? Um, I would like to see some women tomorrow. Guys, I got bad news. Uh huh. The speed hack doesn't work on battle bots. No! <laughs> this isn't battle bots, this is Bloons Tower Defense. Yeah, and it oh still fucking God. sucks either way. This is, no this is not battle bots. Also, uh, I have been given the uh, go ahead to be useless for the next 12 hours or so. Yippee! Okay. Um, so, to catch you up, Charles. Um, we're doing the last uh, fan fest before the next Final Fantasy expansion uh, tomorrow, which means we're probably gonna get the full trailer for the next expansion. Um, and there's some speculations here and there about a couple of things that may or may not be in it. Um, the most uh, prominent one is people are speculating and perhaps even a little bit praying that dear God, we want female Frostgar. Come on, guys, it's time. You promised it this expansion. We didn't get it. It's time. Also, did you see the post I did in text relay of a uh, of a potential female rock car? No, I didn't. It was a few hours ago. Oh, it was a few hours ago. Oh, that is pretty good. I saw um me and uh, Spark were looking at an artist who had drawn some concepts for them. But they deleted their Twitter, so now the only source of any of their art is on E6. So I need to go up and find it again because Spark was showing it to me. I'm like, oh fuck. If you don't, if you do not know what E6 is, we will not tell like you. Salt. His name is E6 to what? Look him up on your school computer. Do not. <laughs> Unless you're researching uh, Modern City of Motivate, then sure, I guess. Fucking hate battle bots. This okay, isn't we're here battle bots. They call it battle bots minigame. What more do you want? I mean, it is perhaps bots that battle, but that is not the they same thing. They are bots that battle. This yeah, is not Comedy Central. I'm gonna put this in test relay for you to perceive. Uh oh. Oh. Thank, thank you, women. Oh. Oh yeah. Thank you, women. You know this I, know, I will send it to you directly in your goddamn DMs. You know this minigame would be so much better if there was a mechanized pizza box that was using a pizza as a heavy hitting weapon. True, I believe that. Like this one. Like the one that I'm about to see, yeah. Where the pizza, where the wheel of pizza or whatever. Wheel? What do you like call like an entire pizza? Like the shape of it. Just a... 
because pizza refers to slices, but also what is this, what is it a slice of other than just pizza? We don't have a word for that. Pizza can refer to both the the slice and the whole all at once. Is it just a pie? Oh, perhaps, yeah. It, it's called a pizza pie, yeah. so it's yeah. a pie. Yeah, fair. Yeah, just the whole pie spinning so fast, it's able to function as a gyroscope. It's so funny. The pizza pie. Those usually weigh like hundreds of pounds, too, so that's like. That's, that's a pretty ton of bread. That's a that's lot a, of pizza. That's half a ton of, uh, ste of, uh, really, really fast spinning steel rocketing towards you. If that thing goes out of control. Metal Bots is fucking terrifying. Yeah, I think the- I think the robots is scary. Right, also, for the record, where I'm like holding my hand out to try to figure out how my how a hand would be positioned in our pose. Also, for the record, chat, I am not high yet. I have only just now consumed the gummy. I'm just like this. Chat, yeah, they're not high. It's just the autism. Yes. It sure does have every mini game ever. Do you want to play an RTS? Play Final Fantasy VII. Want to play a racing game? Play Final Fantasy VII. It's got boarding game? Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is the Yakuza of Final Fantasy. We're going to skip a gas chamber? Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Awkward. Awkward massage from Gay from, Orgy uh, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Uh, squatting mini game Final Fantasy VII. Every game is Final Fantasy VII. That's why everyone loves it so much. It's every video game. <laughs> This is this is the Final Fantasy VII Apex collab. Good. One thing though, I won't be playing it. Not because I don't want to. You can't. You can't. You can't play Final Fantasy or something. I don't know. It's fine. It comes out at the like on the last fucking day of February. 
Uh, they should let me play it for my birthday. True. Um, it's gonna be so irritating, like, at the beginning of February, though. Why? Um, I did Persona 3 to make it on the second. Dude, that's my birthday! Happy birthday, you get a Persona game. Happy birthday, I don't get to spend time with you because you're gonna be playing Persona. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Um, and it's on, um, it's, like, I'm not buying it, it's gonna be on Game Pass, so, like, you know, I can only play it on the Xbox. Who's gonna hang out with me on my birthday? That's an open question. I know you That's will, That's an Charles. open question. You, you don't, you don't fucking do anything but hang out with me. You don't have to be mean about it. I'm not being nice mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Just hang out with me a lot. Well, yeah, you're dating. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy how that works. Do I draw a gun? Uh, why are we drawing a gun? Don't ask Bethesda. Um, do not. I'm finishing this character design. Jinj, I have a question that Hi. I feel like you would have an answer for. Um, if you have a gun, uh, like, slung over your shoulder while with the strap, is the, uh, barrel usually pointing up or down? Um... I want to say the barrel is usually pointing upwards, but you can kind of go anyway. It depends on, like, I don't know. Just do whatever you think's fucking cool. Um, I've seen it both ways. Um, both are very practical. Um, but also, I implore you to look at Ash Williams, who looks fucking sick with his fucking boomstick. Oh yeah, Ash has this, uh, sort of a sheath or whatever. He has a bed. makeshift holster on his back. Yeah, and it points downwards that way. The dun sheath? For lack of a better word, it is, it is practically a sheath. Yeah. That's why that felt goofy. I drew the eyes too high. Well, maybe they shouldn't be on marijuana. You're so You're fucking high. Um, I think proper gun safety is have the barrel facing upwards. I let me. I don't know. Let's figure out the look. Up. Anyways, check out this guy. Who the fuck is this? You'll find out. See the press? Oh, uh oh. Not the press. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Anyway, we're about to fucking lose. We're about to lose battle bots? Yeah. I don't have enough money for more units. The Phoenix. Yeah, well, I can just win the battle. Oh, true. Why didn't you just do the battle then? <laughs> I don't know, I think you're not supposed to throw it. Autobots! Man again! My god! They're attacking! We're counting on you! Walks out the door calmly! Walks out the door! <laughs> okay, I'll be back. See you later. A miracle. <laughs> I appreciate that Charles said, oh, oh no, because he immediately recognized the dilemma with this image. Oh, that Sid is fucking dead. Uh oh. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just saw that and it's like, oh, that's it. Oh. Jump scare. Oh fuck. Just <laughs> realization. Very funny jump scare for you in particular. Ugh. Oh, is this a? Uh, is this a guy? This is, you don't. This is you don't know their name yet. Is this the tape recorder guy? This is you don't know their name yet. Is this? It is, is this phone a guy. Tape it is a tape recorder person. I don't know if it's the tape recorder person, but you know. Is this phone guy? Dead. Um, it's not from it's not phone guy. Also not, not a guy, but you know. Uh it's individual. Phone they. Phone girl. Phone girl. 
it would be so funny if I said individual and you still said no. <laughs> individual also no. I think that would raise too many questions if I said that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Questions that I would not have a, like a correct answer for, that would just be me fucking with you. Yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, things to uh, fuck with players, uh, there's this really funny thing that I really want to try now that I will never be able to do unless it's a in-person game. Uh-huh. So you know those blank dice that they sell? Yeah. What if, like, you roll the damage for a spell or something, and you roll some blank dice along with the actual dice just to make it sound like it's worse than it really is? That's fucked up. Like, oh, here's how you give your cleric a heart attack. Roll eight dice with only two of them having damage numbers on it. Well, now. <laughs> There's the condor die. No, not the condor. But the egg hatched. But the condor, egg hatched. The egg. What? Would you go outside and see what it was? Okay. Uh, did you just see the cutscene? I had a big baby birdie! And get the Phoenix Materia! Is that the original Fat Chocobo? Be nice to him, he was just born. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's trying his best. Go on, be sure to report to my father too. Hello, everybody. I've witnessed the horrors of war and the miracle of life. In the same oh, day, too. In the same half hour or so. Also, uh, Ginge, what are you going to be doing on February 10th? I don't know why. Uh looks at uh, Chinese Zodiac Calendar. No reason. What? Why? That's when the Chinese New Year starts. Okay. You're the dragon? What do you mean? What am I going to be doing during it? Nothing. I don't... Anyway, we gotta go check up on White Boy and White Girl. <laughs> Yahoo! We did it! We saved the big materia! Yeah! It's tough being the leader. Cloud did a great job. Sheesh! We'll go back to Medial and check on things. But before we do that, we're gonna save. Well, we're gonna wake Sid up because he fucking died in the last battle. And then we're gonna save. And then we're gonna sign off, because we made a lot of progress today. And, um, that's kind of a perfect cap-off point. So, thank you all for coming by. Does anybody have anything funny they would like to say? So, like... You know Saw? Like, the movie? What if they did that, but Jinsaw smoked weed instead? <laughs> I think he'd be chill. I think he wouldn't do it, yeah. <laughs> Want to play a game? It's called Strawberries, and, and I, I always, always win. win. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming by. Thank you for witnessing the first Jin stream of the year. We'll be oh back next week. 
when we get our white boy back. Yahoo! Yippee! Wahoo! Yippee! Yippee! And then Woo-hoo! after that, uh, we gotta get the rest of the big bacteria. And then we gotta, and then we gotta go, and then we gotta go fight Sephiroth or something. I don't fucking know. Then we gotta fucking. I don't fucking know. We gotta, we gotta get, cl- we gotta, we gotta get Cloud back. We gotta get Cloud back. <laughs> Barrett, Barrett, we gotta get Cloud back. Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad we share a little bit of brain rot. Anyway, thank you all for coming by. We'll be back live next week we're in the vod does anybody have any last minute funnies they would like to add no i'm not funny anymore i'm evil i'm oh, so evil that that is kind of fucked up jesus christ <laughs>